G'day everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to make an audio probe. An audio probe is a, um, a tool, I guess you could say, um, to help you fault diagnose. Um, sometimes you can use it to set up uh, particular effects, um, but usually you use it to fault diagnose um, an effect. And um, it's very simple to put together um, and it's very handy. For instance, you could use it if you have a pedal that um, has no output. You could use it to um, tap into um, different points on a circuit um, to see where the guitar signal cuts out and then you'll know that there's an issue in that particular area of the pedal. So it's for when you're really stuck on a, on a um, uh, fault diagnosing a pedal. Um, uh, that's usually when the audio probe comes in for me. So to put it together, it's very easy. Um, one, one end of your guitar cable goes into your amp and then on the other end, um, you just get, well, this is how I do it. You can do it, you can make it so that it's permanent by cutting the end off a guitar cable and soldering this, this stuff on, which is probably going to be a good thing if you're going to think you're going to be doing this a lot. Um, but when I usually do it, I just do a sort of temporary measure and just put an alligator clip on the, um, on the shield of the, um, on the shield of the cable and then another one on the tip like that and as you can see it's kind of this is why um, actually soldering it might be a better option for you but up uh, once it's on there it's usually okay but yeah like that so you're tapping into the tip and the shield and then the shield so in this case my yellow one um, that goes to the ground on the effect and the red one you just put the capacitor um, on the end uh, the sorry you, you need a 10 nanofarad capacitor sorry I forgot to mention that um, that goes on the end and then you can either use that to probe the circuit but I usually put another alligator clip um, on the end of that and then on the end of this I found it very handy to use one of these um, they're like a breadboard jumper and they've got two little pins on the end so you just put the pin on that and then you use this end to probe the um, to probe the effect you don't need any of this extra stuff on the end if you don't want it like I said you can use the end of the capacitor if you if you find that easier. Um, uh, but I find it, you know, like I don't know, just with this, just with this pin on the end from this um, breadboard, or if you've got a leg from a component that you cut off and solder onto something, you could use that. Um, I just find it a bit easier to use this um, this this cable. It just um, it just snakes in where I need it to go, and yeah, it's just easier to handle. So to hook it up, you you do it exactly the same as what you usually do. Just put your guitar in the input. You hook it up, well this is my little test thing, uh, little test circuit that I hook it up to, plus, minus, in, out, it's exactly the same. Um, you hook your negative up from the, um, from the guitar cable, um, which is the yellow one, as I showed you before, and you just hook that onto, just clip that onto um, uh, the negative of the circuit. And then you just go around the circuit with the um, audio probe and um, test for uh, a signal. So you just, you know, put it on different points in the circuit and listen to what comes out, and um, and it helps you to work out if there's a solder bridge somewhere um, on the circuit, um, or if something's faulty or it's not working properly. You know, you can have the schematic next to you and go through it bit by bit, and just follow it through the circuit and um, um, just check for uh, uh, just check for a guitar signal. You know, like why you strum the guitar signal, or, or if you've got a frequency generator. That's another thing some people do. They put it. Instead of having your guitar on the input, you put a frequency generator so that you don't have to sit there going, you know, strumming the strings. Um, and then, yeah, just go through and test it with the um, audio probe. And it's, uh, yeah, it's meant to help you find, uh, narrow down where the problem is. Um, so it can be a handy tool. Um, for the Aqua Boy, it was pretty much essential because I had to um, check a few things and I had to check uh, when biasing the chips, as you may have seen, um, you have to turn the BIOS trim pot until you hear the delay come out the other end. You wouldn't be able to set it up without an audio probe, basically. So yeah, that's an audio probe, how to set it up and what it's good for. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.